Greetings. I'm Elder Blacklight. Separate and let double do double and righteous do righteous. The problem with that is not all of our people, all of the black people want to do want to do righteous. But the problem with with that is because they've been taken out their culture, raised up in a corrupt culture. Now they can't tell the difference between what righteousness is and what corruption is. What technology is and what being straight is. Our people think less of themselves than they do of the Caucasian. They don't trust each other. They don't uh, respect each other. They have seen murder and corruption so much Something you never used to see when I was coming up is the innocent murder of children. You never did just, just see brothers selling children. Uh, I'm not saying that it didn't exist, but it's uh, a minor thing, you know. Uh, as far as the uh, frequency of black people doing corruption was less than it is now. So on television, you see all you see is cop shows. At one time, they had family shows. Father knows best. Make room for for daddy. Danny and you know uh, leave it to Beaver and uh, I love Lucy and even she was up to a whole lot of trick knowledge and devilment Lucy was and uh, Donna Reed show uh, family show and now, what you have now is family shows, but you might see two men raising, two gay men raising uh, babies. You might see two gay white men raising black babies. You might see two gay women raising black babies. And their kids grow up, they won't see things as they really are. They'll see things uh, a different way. Your environment sometimes is your perception of how things are. That's why a whole lot of young black brothers and sisters is confused right now. They can't tell reality because... TV programs them, television programs them, tell, lie, with vision, programs them differently. At one time, you didn't even hardly see no black people. Uh, I think Nat King Cole was one of the first blacks to have a program on, uh, and they got rid of him because he got too close to a white woman. And uh, they might have one or two black shows on TV back in the 50s and the, and the uh, 60s. You didn't hardly never see no black people. And then you might see them entertaining on Ed Sullivan. Then you might see them uh, 
in a bunch of variety shows because white people always did like jazz and watch black people dance and sing. You know, you ain't hardly see no black people playing sports. See, y'all, y'all, y'all young ones don't, y'all don't count that. Because y'all think, because now that, you know, you see a whole bunch of black people on television and in the, on the movie screen and things are changing for your benefit. No, they using you because your talent is better than theirs. You know, your, your experience, dramatic experience in, in the United States is more profound than theirs. They know, so they learn how to make money. So just like hip hop, they seen there was money in hip hop. First they didn't, they didn't see that. Then they seen there was money in hip hop. Now you got white rappers or white hip hop. What about rock and roll? Y'all think rock and roll is uh, founded by white people. No, rock and roll, hard rock, all that. You got a brother named Jimi Hendrix. He was the founder of uh, hard rock, acid rock. And then uh, Little Richard. You know, he was the founder, Real Richard and James Brown and all them brothers of rock and roll. Uh, the only thing they haven't, even jazz, you know, you got Satchmo and brothers like that, Louis Armstrong and uh, Dizzy Gillespie and stuff. Uh, on the trumpet, and now you then then all of a sudden you seen uh, Tommy Dorsey, you know, playing, trying to blow, trying to hook up some jazz, you know, pop music is what they used to call it. But now you know uh, they making money off of uh, R and B. R and B entertainers don't make as much money as the rock stars. Just like in a minute, it's going to be more white rappers or hip hoppers than it is black hip hoppers. They're going to make more money than the black. So, they don't want us to leave them because we're a cash cow. We, we money for them. We make money for them. And then we give it right back to them. They give us a little money. And then a brother wants some bling. Who, what black people deals in gold and diamonds? You know, think of who, who, who went over in Africa and has robbed Africa of all their diamonds and pearls and gold. Who robbed the Indian of his gold? See, y'all forget, they don't run that in the history books. They don't even run how bad it was for black people in slavery times. They don't show you them pouring hot coal down a black man's throat. You know, you seen a little bit on Roots. That wasn't that was that was that wasn't half of it. You know, he got his foot cut off because he want he didn't want to say his name was Toby. That was just a little small portion of it, man. You know, Sidnetta when he first came on, he was running the real deal, but. Some somebody got to him. Now he got brothers debating with each other. Long, but if he would keep right now, it's when we really need what he started on uh, the internet on YouTube. We need that raw, the raw pictures of how they was torturing and lynching and burning up brothers. We need that. We need to be shown every day to these young guys because they don't see it. Now they all they see is brothers debating with each other or arguing with each other, wanting to kill each other after it's all over with. So we done adapted to the Caucasian system. It's just like this. I think Lord Lord Jamal ran it best. He said that if a baby eagle get detached from its mother, father, 
and falls in a chicken coop and get raised by chickens, he'll never know that he's an eagle. He'll always think that he's a chicken. But that's the black man. When a black man, they first erased our culture and our history. They erased the very soul of the black man and then implanted themselves in us. It's like information on the blackboard and the white man comes and erase that information and then put the information he want in there on that blackboard. And that's what we go by now. You know, and each generation he changes it. He changes it and changes it till y'all fall in love with him and y'all can't get away. And then all of a sudden when we start protesting, a crowd of white people come in, you know, and, and uh, say they want to protest. Uh, they they on the front line now. But for 400 plus years, they didn't do nothing. Why all of a sudden now that they wanting to uh, be with Black Lives Matter? It's a trick to that. I ain't got time to go into it in this video, but the next time I come on, we're going to go into it real deep, real deep. We're going to tell you why all of a sudden white people, see Fox News is for Trump, CBS, NBC and all the rest of them is for Biden. You got Hillary Clinton and the Clintons against Donald Trump and the Bushes and all them. So you got a civil war jumping off. And and if they want to put the black man on the front line. We're going to get into it. I ain't got time right now. But stay tuned. This is Black Light.